how you guys doing it's ace and today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make fleas new tiktok box fight map So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add custom walls, you know, custom barriers, custom everything that he has in the video. The only thing that I'm not going to be showing you guys is how to add the actual TikTok logo that he has in the bottom of his map. The reason why I'm not showing you guys this is because it's really hard to do. And if I showed it to you guys, most of you guys are not going to even do it. Plus, the logo has nothing to do with the map. It looks really good without the logo as well. So I'm going to leave a link to the original video and also the map code in the description. So check it out and hope you guys like this video. Make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, use code ACYT in the Fortnite item shop. And let's get started. So the first thing we'll need is actually this gallery right here. Uh, it's the fourth one uh, from the top. And all you guys are going to do is place it down. This is what we're going to be using for the floors. So what you just want to do is grab the floor gallery, this, and just make a box. The usual box for a box fight map is a 5x4. Five five so I'm going to do that real quick. So since the box doesn't have a side, we need to add the top of the box. To do that, what you need to do is go to devices, get the hover platforms, and uh, go up three stories high just like this. And then you just want to connect it. For the bottom of the roof, we are going to be using this platform right here. The reason we're using this is because the platform that we used before has a little something in the bottom that we don't want. Now what we're going to do is actually add the barriers. I usually do this in the end, but for this map, I'm gonna do it in the beginning. So what you're gonna do is get a couple of barriers. And what we want is basically for people not to fall off like this edge right here when they're in the map. So just copy the settings that I put and put it all around the four corners. So once we're done with that, we could start adding the little like lights that he add in the corner. So to start with that, what we need to do is go to gallery and find this item right here. And what we need to do is basically choose any, you guys could choose any color you want, but I'm going to be choosing this right here and you guys got to rotate it. So you just want it just like this and you want to change the grid snap to four. So before I continue, I'm going to be adding the barriers for the bottom. So all you need to do is just copy these settings that I'm using. So to add the roof, what you want to do is get the platform, the same thing that we used before, 
and just bring it up a little bit. You don't have to go too high because this is not a 1v1 map, this is a box fight map. So just do what I'm doing right now and just copy the settings. As you can see, we're like halfway done with the map. So before I get too far, I'm gonna be adding, you know, the crucial thing that we need in this map, which is the actual devices, the spawn pads. So what you wanna do is get about eight spawn pads out and just place it down four in one corner and four in the other corner. What we're gonna do is change the settings to the platform so we don't like see them. One of them, what you wanna do is this setting. So every single platform in this side is going to have the same setting and in this side every single thing is going to have this setting. So once we're done with that we have to do the same thing to the top since we're going to be adding like a little barrier up top in this section so you can see through. What you need to do is rotate the, I don't even know what you call these but this little like wave thing and put it right on top. And then what you want to do is get the barriers one more time and basically do the same thing we did before but place it right here. Now what we need to do is add the actual like lines and glow that goes throughout the map. To do that what you need to do is go to galleries and take out the circle gallery. So once you're done, it should look like this. It is kind of tricky to get like the pieces like this on top of each other. But once you do, it is pretty simple. Just change to grid snap two and just put it all around. And it looks really cool with the blue and the purple. But now we're gonna do the same thing over here and we're gonna make the lines go up just like this.
so as you see this is how the thing is like actually made the only reason you see like these poking out right here oh sorry about that but the reason you see those poking out right there because over here I made this like little extra long which I shouldn't have done but when you do it just do the same thing and I didn't take a long like time to do it but if you like take some time about 10 20 minutes to get it like perfectly down and make it the way you're supposed to make it and not this ugly but this is basically how you just do it the only reason as I said before the only reason you see these poking out is because I made that side long in the other one so yeah that's basically how you make this part of the map so now all we left is to make the spawn area where everyone was spawn and basically do whatever they want to do that just literally copy the floor that we used under this and we're gonna make a room right up here so the map is basically done all you need to do is just copy the settings that i'm going to be showing you guys in screen right now but otherwise everything else should be done there's nothing else you need to change. you can pause the video and copy but these are basically all of the settings you will need in the map so pause the video or slow the video down and just copy literally every single settings that you have seen in this three. Uh, the only thing that I want to tell you guys is that that part where this part right here where I made all the crosses just make sure you take your time and actually you know do it I did it really fast so it doesn't look the best but that's basically how you're supposed to do it and if you guys want over here you guys could also add this blue thing um, I don't recommend it because in my opinion if you just leave it like that leave it like blank it looks nice but you can like add it if you want to before I forget, the last thing I do need to show you guys is how to add the barriers. So basically for the barriers, I don't like the barriers that Flea uses. In my opinion, uh, it, just, it just like doesn't look nice. So what we're going to do is use the blue barriers. So it is right here. Let's go to this uh, basically device right here and you'll get that. What we're going to do is choose the square. If I could just get in. And you just want to shape it the way you want to. Uh, basically, just make it so it's tall enough to cover the top and the bottom. I'm just going to make it big as possible. So once you're done, it should look like this. What you want to do after you click down the first one, just go to your settings right here. Just go even see from that to channel 1. And after you do that, just save and miss that. Go to your devices again, take out the explosive device gallery, put that down somewhere, and all you have to do is ex uh, when explode transmit on, put that to channel 1. And you also need to make sure time to detonate from game start, put that to 5 seconds. That will make it so after the game start, in 5 seconds, the barrier will basically go down. Channel 1. After that, we need to add the weapons. So go to the devices and take out team settings and inventory so what we need to do is basically add the weapons most people usually use a shotgun and an AR so that's what I'm gonna do right here they also need some stickers so I'm gonna do some stick and some mini and you also have to remember to put some ammo so I'm gonna get the ammo and everything and also make sure to put wood so now all you need to do is drop everything over here the way you drop it is how they're gonna have it on the inventory so if i drop my ar first the ar is gonna be on the first slot of their inventory you can so i hope you guys did enjoy the video make sure to drop a like subscribe if you guys are new turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys